Hello, you mean hookers. It is I, the Damien of YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, no, 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 not, not that Damien. This Damien. Mm -mm, no, no, ma'am, not that Damien, honey. Although I have been called the spawn of Satan a few times in my life, but I don't want to go there. Let's leave that for another video. Let's not do that today. No, no, no. So for today's video, oh my share, I am doing something that I have been wanting to do for the longest time, probably since before I started my channel, something that I've been wanting to react to for the long gosh. I'm telling you, I'm so excited, girl, my tuck is about to come undone. So picture it. I was on my computer searching on IMDb for this movie that I could not remember. You know, like one does on IMDb. And all of a sudden, I came across that an iconic movie is turning 15 years old. And now, I did the gay gas, like the... <gasps> You know that guy. And I nearly fell off my bed because I was just like, 15 years? Are you f***ing kidding me right now? I mean, there have been so many iconic movies since the beginning of filmmaking. I mean, of course, you have the, the Gone with the Winds. Fabulous. Gone with the Wind, fabulous. Okay? Thank you. Well, all right, man. You have the All About Eve's Death Becomes Her. You have the clues, all the greats. But then there is Mean Girls. I was half a virgin when I met him. Girl, I mean, I ain't gotta remind you how good this movie is. Chances are, if you're watching this channel, you have seen Mean Girls quite a few times. But just in case, let me remind y'all heifers. This movie is amazing. It's the movie, the one, the only one. It's just, that movie is that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So since it's the 15th anniversary of the most iconic film of all time, I decided to react to it and just, you know, talk some shit, point out my favorite moments. Kind of psychic. Really? It's like I have ESPN or something. And who knows, maybe after this video's over, we might go to the, our local hospital and get inseminated. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go crazy, bitch. It's 15. It's 15. Anyways, before we dig deeper than Coach Carl with Tram Pack and the projection room above the auditorium, girl, if you enjoy me as much as Regina enjoys her calcium bars, then, I mean, come on. Why don't you just like, subscribe, and ring that bell? Like that, you will not miss my most anticipated announcement. This is something that I have been working on for so long. I am so excited to announce this. Yes, I will be... Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going to be debuting in my first porno. Yeah! And it's going to be called Up. Yes, it's going to be a take on the beloved Disney movie. Yes, 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 yes. So basically, the premise is like, I'm going to meet this older man. And when I go to his house, when he sees me, he's like, oh, I love you. And he goes with his cane and he walks over to me and then he takes his catheter off and then okay you ready i think so i can relate to this so much back when i was in high school and not so much for my mom but for my grandma oh my sweet dear lord she'd be like oh my god david please you gotta be so careful somebody got stabbed in boston oh my god please 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 you gotta watch out i don't know what's going on it's crazy out there please please be careful we live in manhattan i'm 16 and until today <laughs> i was homeschooled <laughs> Santa car. <laughs> I gotta tell you a quick story. I, I hope this doesn't turn into a whole story time. But back in when I was a little kid, we used to have our yearly spelling bee. Bitch, I prepared for that so much, honey. They couldn't take me, honey. I'm telling you, I was the shit back in the day. Girl, I'd go on stage and I could hear the other kids be like, oh my god, is that Diana Ross? Because I was just that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just took ownership of the stage, okay? Because I would just win. I would just win. I was so good at spelling bees. Oh my god. Until one time when I got beat by some asshole. I don't even know. I still think it was rigged. I don't know. Some, somebody was was cheating. But I was, ooh, honey, you couldn't take, they couldn't take it. They just couldn't take it. Hello, high school. Ah! I'm okay. And that, my kids, is what you call foreshadowing. Oh my god, that just gives me so much anxiety from when I started in high school. My first day of high school, bitch. My first day in high school was no fucking joke. I remember these two girls got into a fight because one of them brushed up on their shoulder and then they got into this whole fight in the middle of the hallway and then the security got punched in the face trying to break up the fight. It used to be just a little bit ghetto to me. Messy. But also, I went to public school, so. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Ooh. Is it wrong that as a kid, I was just like, the donuts! I was a, I was thick. Girl, I was so thick. When I was up in the club, I'd be knocking down drinks with my ass, honey. That's how thick I was, okay? Well, I just wanted to let everyone know that we have a uh, new student joining us. She just moved here all the way from Africa. Welcome! <laughs> I'm from Michigan. <laughs> ah, the way she says that. I'm from Michigan. Like, why I gotta be black? 
It only counts if you saw them. I felt so bad for her because it was like, I mean, it was never that bad in my high school. They never treated you like a bitch in front of your face. In front of your face, honey. But as soon as they turn around, honey. I should know because I was one of them. Because I'd be like, ooh, girl, who she thinks she fooling? Wearing those UGG knockoffs, honey. Those fugs. But never to their faces. I, Because I'm I'm a lady, okay? I have class. Nice wig, Janice. What's it made of? Your mom's chest hair. I'm Janice. <laughs> Hi, I'm I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't have sex. Because you will get pregnant and die. Kiss. Don't do it. Promise? The audacity, the nerve, this coach has of telling these kids not to have sex. Meanwhile, he's hooking up with Trank Pack in the projection room above the auditorium. The nerve. It's Katie, C-A-D-Y. The little one, it's Gretchen Wiener. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big. It's secrets. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's an STD. Typical, selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced. You better work, bitch. My idol growing up. I just wanted to be the baddest, you know what I'm saying? Because growing up, I had two idols. Regina George and Paris Hilton in The Simple Life. 12 things an heiress would never do. Never stand in line for a movie. It's all about private screening. I admire poets, icons, philanthropists, you know? Those are the people I admire, you know what I'm saying? What can I say? I have taste. I don't know about you, but I have taste. I have class. You were supposed to call me last night. Jason, you did not come to a party at my house with Gretchen and then scam on some poor innocent girl right in front of us three days later. Do you want to have sex with him? No, thank you. Good. So it's settled. So you can go shave your back now. Bye, Bye. Jason. <laughs> You know, I gotta tell you, that wig is so right. I don't know how many valley girls have to die for that wig, but that wig is so good. That lace, let me tell you something, that lace front is oh, amazing. But when I found out that was a wig, my mind was just blown. I was like, what? Regina George is not sweet. She's a scum sucking road whore. She ruined my life. <laughs> You know, when I was a kid and I would see Janice, I'd be like, oh my gosh, she is such a badass and she like doesn't give a fuck. She's that bitch. Now that I'm a senior citizen, I realize that she is so insecure. I guess crazy how different as you get older than things you realize. Pretty sad. But that's high school for you, bitch. Ugh, don't, don't take me there. Ugh, ugh teenagers. <laughs> Uh oh, evil in its best form, honey. Sidebar, don't you miss flip phones? For me, flip phones get the message across so well when you're in an argument. It's like, you wanna do what, Jason? I'm a Catholic. Oh my God, you wanna stick it in where? Uh, like it gets the message across better. Cause now with an iPhone, it's just like, bye. You can hear that. Oh, I miss the simple days. It's our burn book. So we cut out girls' pictures from the yearbook, and then we wrote comments. Trang Pack is a grotesque little biatch. Still true. Don Schweitzer is a fat virgin. Still, Still half true. true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, these holes are so cunty. Oh my, I don't know if it's the hormones, or I don't know what it is, but it's just like teenagers in high school. Ooh. I don't know if it's the hot teachers too, because I remember I had this teacher, this art teacher. <gasps> he was tall, lean, the beard, blue eyes. Oh my god, my, ooh, my nipples. Ooh. We're having a Halloween party at my friend Chris's tonight. You wanna come? Yeah, sure. Mm. I gotta tell you, you don't know how happy I was when I found out he was gay in real life. Cause growing up I was like, oh he's so cute. Ugh, unfortunately he's, you know, not into me. But there's hope! I mean, unfortunately he's in a relationship. But I mean, people break up, so you never know. Okay, I lied. In girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress up. Yes, like bitch. Girl. Fuck it up. To this day, all I want to dress up for Halloween is as Regina George on Halloween. Hey. <laughs> that always gets me. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, it's the simple things that get me. I'm sorry. Okay, you did not just say that. What? He's a good kisser. He is your cousin. Yeah, but he's my first cousin, right? Mm -hmm. So you have your cousins, and then you have your first cousins, mm. and then you have your second cousin. No, honey. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not right, is it? Girl, that is nasty. Now, I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but I do know a few people that have done some stuff with their cousins. Now, I'm not trying to air out nobody's dirty laundry. I am, my name is not Wendy Lee Williams. However, all I'm gonna say is, at least it wasn't their siblings. I, I don't know how else to say about that. I don't know. I'm sorry. I know she's kind of socially retarded and weird, but she's my friend, so just promise me you won't make fun of her. She is so rude, so nasty. <gasps> 
Oh my god, Rachel McAdams was so good in this movie. I cannot picture anybody doing this role like Rachel McAdams did in this movie. And allegedly, Lindsay wanted to play Regina, but I, I just can't see that. The only other person that I could see playing Regina George is the iconic Paris Hilton. The OG. Lovey bitch. Mm. <laughs> that Friday, that's probably my favorite Jason movie franchise. Lies, lying, that is not my, is my second favorite. My first is and will always and forever be Jason X. Um, now basically we, we die. It's new plan. You hold him and I'll run. Wait a minute, I, I can smell you judging me. Why are you judging me? Only Mariah can judge me, okay? I mean, yeah, I might have, what, like a negative one in the Rotten Tomatoes score? I don't know, but I mean, it, it's a fun film, okay? It won't be nominated for an Oscar, but what's? it's a fun movie. And I like it, so back off. Wait, I have this really good skin stuff I'll bring out. <laughs> <laughs> this is so shady, like... But this is some shit that I would do. Like, I'm not gonna blatantly slash your tires, but I will throw some broken glass on the road. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that bitch. Like, if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me? Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> so good. Oh my God. Rude. I love your skirt. Where did you get it? It was my mom's in the 80s. Vintage. So adorable. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you something. If they made a Dominican version of this, honey, the only difference it would be that it would just be in Spanish. Because let me tell you something. My people is shady by nature. You ain't hear nothing from me. But my people will shade you so hard behind your back. I've seen my grandma in church fully praising the Lord, feeling the spirit talking in tongues, honey. Then, after the mass is over, she'd see a friend, you know, that she knows. She'd be like, oh my goodness, gorgeous, how are you? You look so beautiful. Oh my God, you look stunning. Have you lost weight? Oh my God, you look gorgeous. Yes, you better do you, bitch. As soon as the girl walks away, girl, I don't know who she thinks she is wearing that dress to church, honey. But I guess she's going through that midlife crisis after her husband left her for another man. Let's hear it for Damien. That's me, feeding the fantasy. Don't look at me. Make love to your woman on the bathroom floor. Because you know it was me. She'd be like, oh, Kevin G. <laughs> High school, high school girl. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, my favorite, the mom's face. Cause the mom, the mom is just like, <laughs> only in a movie cause this shit fly. Cause trust me, I've tried. I've been to my principal and I was like, honey, I got this. I shut up in full knee high boots and everything honey. Canceled, shut down. That is so fetch. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Bitch, you gotta be in some ghetto ass school for your ass to get snatched in the middle of the hallway. But then again, I should not be talking because, no, you ain't heard this from me. Back in my high school, I heard that there was some girls, honey, that were performing um, oral in the, um, what's that called? The staircase. Like, no class. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no class. No cooth. I mean, nobody asked me to, you know, perform these acts, so I'm a little offended. Coach Carr? <laughs> Turn back. I mean, I know he was sad, but how much time did he need? Regina had moved on. <laughs> Ooh, bitch. Go. Do you guys need anything? Some snacks? Condoms? Let me know. Oh, God love you. Aaron had done Oh my God, this movie. But once the water's gone, then you'll be all muscle. It explains it all on the label. Bullshit. So sweet. Everyone in Africa can read Swedish. Girl. Ma'am, do you have this in the next size? We only carry sizes one, three, and five. You could try Sears. <laughs> This bitch is shady, honey. She could have at least said Lane Bryant, honey. Are you okay? Hmm. Shady bitches. Ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to some shit like that. Like, I have a mirror here that I just... Uh, let's not go there. This reminds me of back in high school. I see my friends all day. Get home, have dinner, talk for like an extra hour, two hours about shit, just bullshit, nothing of importance really. And but we would just talk, 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 and then see each other the next day. Uh, girl, I can't. A little harsh, scratch. Whatever, she has a right to know. I can't go out. Boo, Boo, you whore. Do you know how many times I've said that to my friends? Is butter a car? <laughs> yes. Yo, it's hot in here. So? So that's- You can't sit with us! I know that hurt. You can walk home, bitches. Mm. That's where you're going, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> 
so rude. So rude. But that was back in the day when the cakes weren't in trend, honey. If that would have happened today, honey, she would have been an Instagram model. Body positivity, okay? Hashtag. When Aaron saw me, I wouldn't be caught in some ridiculous costume. You look awesome. She has officially, officially crossed over to the dark side, honey. Huh? Slytherin dark, okay? Ooh, there's a hurricane a coming, bitch. A coming? Hold on to your lace fronts. Oh no, it was coming up again. More vomit. No, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, that sound. I hate that wet sound. You know what? It's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. What? Oh, no, she did not. See? You think that everybody is in love with you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are a mean girl. You're a bitch. Here, you can have this one of props. I felt so bad for them because I love uh, Janice and Damien. Like, Janice is me on the inside and Damien is me on the outside. So I connected with them so much as a little kid. Why are you eating a cult, bro? I'm starving. Man, I hate those things. Coach Carr makes us eat those when we want to move up in weight class. What? You make you can't wait like crazy. Mother! Bitch, I'd be pissed, honey. I'm over here trying to look like Naomi Campbell. Meanwhile, I'm eating like Guy Fieri, honey. Sidebar, I have a little story time. Probably my seventh story time in this video already. Back in the day, I was a little thick. We don't judge body types here, but I was a little thick. Yes, I was trying to, you know, get neat, petite, and ready to eat. But back in the day, I was trying to lose weight. When I discovered the Quaker chocolate and s'mores bars, I don't know if you guys even know what that is. Because it said granola, I was just like, oh, this is healthy, bitch. So I was just like, go, go, go. Go, go, go. He eats so many cans possible for him not to find one. I felt like one of Paltrow, honey. I felt like I was in goop. I felt like I had my own blog, honey, my lifestyle. I felt healthy. But then I realized that instead of losing weight, I was actually gaining weight. And I'm just like, bitch, I'm going to Paltrow. What, what's going on? Why am I gaining weight? Until I looked at the nutrition label. <sighs> Don't judge me. I, I, I was young, okay? I, I, I fucked up. I'm over here living my Gwyneth Paltrow fantasy. In reality, I'm eating like Paula Dean circa 2004, bitch. Look at that yummy fried cheesecake. A lot. But yeah, I gained like 15 pounds. Don't don't judge me. It is the nastiest skank bitch I've ever Like, you know what the epitome of petty is? She has transcended the level of petty. She has petty LaBelle status, you know what I'm saying? Fully petty. You do know that she's the Madeline Ashton of this movie, right? As a friend, some advice. I would stay out of a bathing suit for a while. <laughs> At least two of these. I hope that nobody else ever does see it. Evil. I mean, let me tell you, if I was in this school and I saw this shit going down, honey, I would have packed my bags, taken some snacks from the cafeteria, and dipped. Because I ain't about to be in this bullshit. No, ma'am, honey. I ain't getting punched in the face for some shit I didn't even do. Never in my 14 years as an educator have I seen such behavior. Mm. I got parents calling me on the phone asking, did someone get shot? Sounds like my high school. Oh, my God. Yes. Somebody wrote in that book that I'm lying about being a virgin because I use super jumbo tampons, but I can't help it if I've got a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. And that right there is my favorite line from the entire movie. It should be in poetry books. It should be in school books because she's speaking the truth. She's spilling her truth, honey. Like, don't judge her because you got a fat pussy. Who are you, her gynecologist? Like, back up. Everybody close your eyes. Okay. I want you to raise your hand if you have ever had a girl say something bad about you behind your back. Oh, my. Yeah. And multiple Open times. Open your eyes. Now, Oof. close your eyes again. Oh, okay. And this time, I want you to raise your hand if you have ever said anything about a friend behind her back. Oh! <laughs> Extra hand. <laughs> I'm sorry I laughed at you that time you got diarrhea at Barnes & Noble. And I'm sorry I told everyone about it. You know, there are just some people that you gotta ask, like, the lights are on, but nobody's home, right? I mean, it's just sad. It really is sad. It's just sad. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and eat all these. She doesn't even go here. Do we even go to this school? No. I just have a lot of feelings. Okay, yeah, go. go home. I know that girl. She must be a cancer. People are so jealous of me. But I can't help it that I'm popular. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, walk it up. Walk That's it what your ass gets. Oh my god, the audacity, bitch. I convinced her that it would be fun to imagine. 
mess up Regina George's life. It was a good plan. Regina and we gave her this candy bar thing so it would make her gain weight. And we turned her best friends against her. She made out with Regina's boyfriend and then convinced him to break up with her. Oh god, and we, we gave you foot cream instead of face wash. I don't know why I did it. I guess it's probably because I've got a lesbian crush on you. You know, I gotta tell you, this movie's funny and all that, but what this movie does so well is that it teaches the kids a lesson or two. And is that if you are a things will happen to you. Because life is what? Circular, bitch. What you put out, you get it right back. So you gotta be careful. Don't be treating these people like honey, cause you'll get it right back, okay? Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, honey, but better watch yourself. Girl, look at me teaching the kids. Honey, I'm telling you, I could take Walter Mercado's job, honey. Paz, mucha paz, pero sobre todo mucho, 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 mucho. I'm old. Ah! Do you know what everyone says about you? You're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy Mmm, girl, only in a movie. Because if that happened in real life, honey, she'd be right next to Jesse Smollett's career, honey. Dead. Did you tell Mr. Duvall who else did it? No, because I'm trying this new thing where I don't talk about people behind their backs. <laughs> honey, I've been working on that for the last 20 years. <laughs> girl, I always wanted that Mariah poster right there. You see that poster right here? I was obsessed with that poster growing up. I always want, oh my God. On top of that, I always wanted to do like a photo shoot like that, like surrounded in an ethereal nature setting, like with the birds and butterflies and all that stuff, like. And then he has the Barbara right here. This is my room. First, if you don't know, Barbara is my queen. Barbara, can you hear me? I'm telling you, if me and Damien were in that high school together, we'd be married by now, honey. Let's start the competition. Here is the first This question. part always gave me so much anxiety. I am so bad at math. You know that I had to take the PSATs in high school four times before passing it? The last time I took it, right before the time I passed it, I got a 64. You need 65 to pass. I broke down in the middle of the hallway. I'm gonna vote for Regina George, because she got hit by that bus. I'm voting for Katie Hare, because she pushed her. Me. Stupid bitch. Like. Her outfit looked like it was picked out by a blind Sunday school teacher. Oh, honey. Some Tragedy! Making fun of Carolyn Craft wouldn't stop her from beating me in this contest. Let me tell you something. That's probably one of my favorite parts in the movie because she is so right. She's dropping gems in this movie, honey. I'm so guilty of this. When I feel uncomfortable or like insecure around other people, my instinct would be to find something bad about them to make me feel like I'm better than. Because here's the tea. Just because she hasn't done her eyebrows since Nixon was in office don't mean that she's less than you, girl. Granted, she looks like a cactus that was put through the blender, but that's not the point. The point is that you cannot judge people based on their outer looks because you don't know what they've been through or what they're capable of, okay? You can both be great without putting each other down. You know what I'm saying? Life lessons. To uh, all the people whose feelings that got hurt by the burn book, I'm really sorry. When I think about how many people wanted this. You know that I just got the fact that she's the only one that got in trouble for that? Ain't that some shit? Those three heifers wrote it. She just said one thing and she was the one that took all the blame for the shit. I'd be pissed. I'd be singing like a canary. I'm going down, you're going down with me, bitch. This is the Titanic up in this bitch. Really just... Sharon. Mm. Seriously, most people just take the crown and go. Back up. Let her speak. I gotta tell you, that's cute and all, but I can symbolically share with y'all helpers. I won, you lost. Step your pussy up next to your honey. This is my moment. I'm sharing my crown. Who the fuck do I look like? All Stars 4? <laughs> Please. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to present you with two gifts. Oh, he's so hot. Oh my god, and he's getting hotter the older he gets. He's like Ricky Martin. Like, have you seen Ricky Martin lately, bitch? <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god, my nipples. Girl, I let that man put his whole Where were we? And I'll walk. <sighs> Karen used her special talents to do the morning weather announcements. It's 68 degrees, and there's a 30% chance that it's going to be raining. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta play to your strengths, honey. I guess she's not that dumb after all. Hmm. Check it out. Junior Plastics. And oh lord. Freshman, try to disturb that piece. Huh. Let's just say we knew how to take care of it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. And all is good in girl world, honey. Oh, 
Oh my god, what a movie. I gotta tell you, 15 years later and there still has not been a movie made that has reached that level of iconicness. Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But 15 years later, there has not been a movie to the level that Mean Girls has been stepped to. Before that, I mean, you had, of course, The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, Heathers, Clueless. They have been done before Mean Girls. You know, those movies that are just so iconic that you could have a full conversation with somebody just quoting the movies. And what's so funny is that even all those years later, it still gets me. I know the jokes that are coming, but it still gets me every time. And I still laugh like if it's the first time because the movie is just that good. Bueno. But I gotta tell you, even after all those years, I still strive to be Regina George, honey. Oh, girl, ain't nobody trying to be no damn Katie Heron. Please. I'm over here trying to live my Regina George fantasy moment. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be that bitch. Get it, loser. We're going shopping. With my good lace front, honey, with my Mercedes Benz, driving my bitches to the mall. Honey, that's the life. I mean, not even Ariana wanted to be Katie Heron, honey. But I mean, watching it again, it's funny, it's great, it's... Uh, it's Stunning. It's the social commentary with the way we treat people behind their backs. Like, you know, when you have that good friend over your house and she spills the tea about she's been having this affair with her neighbor for all these years. You promise that you won't say anything about it to your friends or anybody. And then once she leaves, you call your good Judy to tell her all the shit that she just told you. I don't know nothing about that. I've never done that. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Anyways, I don't have to do this because we all know it's great. But just to please the folks of the ether, this movie is a solid five. What? Burn books out of five, honey. It's amazing, it's stunning, it's legendary, it's iconic. The characters, the writing, the humor, that non-PC humor that I love. Cause God forbid you say f you say f you say a you can't say shit. Anyways guys, it's time for me to go and see um what the latest news is on the Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter story, honey. The miniseries. Ooh, that is messy. But I'm watching. Anyways guys, I need, I want, I have to know. What are your favorite moments from Mean Girls? Who are your favorite characters? Who are your least favorite characters? Ah, oh, the memories. I want to know everything about it because it's my favorite. Well, it's not my favorite movie, but it's up there, girl. You know, because Murder on the Orient Express, Death Becomes, our, you know, those are, you know, anyways. But I mean, come on, girl. I mean, come on. This is, we know each other. Come on, girl. You know. You know. You gotta keep it right. Keep it tight. And I'll see you all next time, darlings. Oh, bye.